So then we are back with the modern understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle. Services are refined in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yeshiahu the prophet. We find in a layer of understanding related with the spring feast, autumn feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Mishia laid waste for many centuries. And then precisely, we find then also a layer of Daniel, the 11th chapter, extremely important understanding these days, because it shows us very precisely the movements of the designers as they come together as known as bricks, and then they come up with the system or the initiation of the system of precision. Precisely what Daniel then a chapter later, on the 12th chapter, mentioned that knowledge would increase at the time where the people of the Creator would get mixed up with the world for a time. And then at the end of it, knowledge would increase for the purposes of trade and then the coming of the holy cities as we are during the time of the restoration period where then we find precisely the information given via the near Shiaho, the 61st chapter you find the spring feast, the first section of it then you find the autumn feast related with the vengeance and the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid waste for many centuries however when you read the near Shiaho, chapter 1-8 you have to understand then the land of Cush in the regular scripture from the Greco and the Romans, they did not include the word Cush. However, if you examine then the original manuscripts, you find the land of Cush is truly the place where tabernacling is going to be at. So then, since we do understand also the 11th chapter of Daniel as the refinement of the statue, of the base of the statue, where then iron does not mix with the clay, we must then delineate then the new power of the world as far as military speaking. When we study history, and then after the cities of the Messiah were destroyed, then came a thousand years of deceit and had no world order, so they had to come up with some sort of an order in the system because the cities were no more. Out of these a thousand years of this heat, 800 roughly was then granted for the Great Britain and then the other 200 for America or the United States. Those nations, they are no longer part of it. So then, as God himself has said, those who humble themselves before him, he then shows them the path. At the moment we are expecting then as the new decentralized system becomes available the importance of then such as then Great Britain then a couple of hundred years ago they had to retrieve to give way then for the Americans so as then China Soviet Union and Africa are expect the same honor so then these might be a situation where it might cause some anger or some reluctancy of having these precise understanding of retrieving and rebuilding not very easy for Americans to do so but then if they are believers in the true God they must because this is precisely what then the Creator is expecting from them so then we find ourselves then taking care of a thousand years of deceit 800 Great Britain had ruled the world, many empires around the world. Then we find then 200 years where then America then established its own empires. And it is related with the mixing of what they believed as God and trade mixed up together. At the moment, those layers must be then separated. And this separation simply is from the time of the first son of Ibrahim and the second son of Ibrahim, precisely then as trade and tabernacling. So then, let's study Daniel the 11th chapter, where then we study 
precisely this chapter and then there is a very interesting section of it that reads for the king of the north wilt return and wilt raise a host greater than the former let's understand how we can read these in terms where we can understand this layer of understanding was then recorded roughly 500 years prior of the spring feast's completion if we would calculate today is more than 2500 years ago there is a structure of understanding of the holy instructions firstly then we understand the Torah is active yet the Torah is maintained by the people of the Messiah those pure Hebrews from the lineage of the Messiah and the lineage of Ibrahim Gentiles that have congregations known as churches where they simply we congregate and they talk of the holy instructions and also the layers of the prophetic and they are acquainted with the times and the seasons so then after 2009 the facet of Nahashatan has changed from deceiver devil mocker then to precision there is no longer devil devil no longer exists if you then a person related with the devil worship in those kinds of situations you make yourself stupid because you don't understand times and seasons devil no longer exists became dragon precision is always related with computerized systems and pure precision so then with this in mind then we get rid of those old junkies of mixing up what they thought was God during the time of the seat mixed up with religion mixed up with trade and we absolutely have to separate what is trade is trade what is religion is religion so then we find this section and again for the king of the north wilt return and wilt raise a host greater than the former so let's understand what this means during the time of the Soviet Union it was truly during the time of the thousand years of deceit it does not mean the Soviets were deceitful it's not the point the point is because of the thousand years granted after the destruction of Jerusalem and the tomb until 2009 then there is a thousand years of deceit then in the 60s obviously we had the Cold War so the kingdom of the north is the Soviet Union as we understand then later unfortunately the kingdom went down it was then dismantled but then this note give us the absolute precision related with the Soviet Union so let's understand why then must be Soviet Union some people say oh it's in Russia no they are not they are Soviets they always were and they always will be it's a tailor-made situation of their own how can we understand this let's read it again for the king of the north will to return so the returning of it meaning understanding the former status so then the Soviet Union is truly Soviet Union and never changed its name they were placed only on hold for a time until this time where they are responsible for the security of the world it's very simple how do we understand they are then the security of the world because continue on the reading states very simply and at the end of the times he will certainly come with a great army and with much equipment these are related absolutely certain with military equipment so then the former status must become higher than the first in the global scale where then the starting point is then the joining of the armies of China so then China can become at liberty to produce and then the Soviets becoming then obviously the leaders of a military power and then the world obviously they get to work a lot of nations they must retrieve and rebuild including United States most importantly the United States because for 200 years they had their time 
And when we evaluate during the time of the Second World War, the Americans did a great job for years, decades. But then the time has expired. And there is a section of it that we must humble ourselves before the hand of God so then we can understand His holy path. So then, this truly is given us the absolute certainty of a hundred percent surety of this prophecy being precisely during this time. How much time is then left until the end? Simply, roughly 20 years. No more than 20 years. In fact, 20 minus 1. How do we come to this calculation? Well, many people when they read the Holy Instructions, they realize the world has at least a couple thousand years after his death. Then what can we understand? There were calculations done via computer where they were able to trace back via the lunar view of every month then the showing of the great star. Those were recorded during the time of the Romans. Plus then the census of the time and then the eclipses, the lunar eclipses. So it was pinpoint very precisely then the birth of the Messiah. Would be equivalent to our September mid-month first day of the Feast of Tabernacles. Or Sukkot, does he tabernacled with his people? Then, when he spent time with the Samaritans, truly 5032, from 5031, 5032, this specific time he spent two Yom creation days where he went to Mount Gerizim because. Tabernacle had to come out of Jerusalem from the first tabernacle service and then initiate the second tabernacle services. Thus then the time had started. So then, during this time, after 2009, and the Creator's calendar becomes then 7009, because if you make the calculation, 5032, he was born in 4999, 5032 he was placed on a pole so then when you make the calculation based from Shimon he said a day is a thousand years a thousand years is a day because he spent two Yom creation days during the time of the spring feast it is a calculation of prophecy given to the Gentiles because he was outside of Jerusalem so then 5032 plus 2000 makes 7032, equivalent to our 2032. It can't be more than 20 years. So then, as far as Daniel the 11th chapter gives us then the very precise refinement of the base of the statue where iron does not mix with the clay, because the restoration period gives you then a time where nations would rebuild themselves while then the cities are returning. So then the kingdom of the north truly is the Soviet Union. The kingdom of the east found then later, a couple of chapters later of Daniel, China. And then you find the kingdom of the south yet birthing. Then there it is. Those are then the designers. There is a designing of production, security, and tabernacling. From then on, the kingdom of the south, obviously, then the prophet Yerushiahu mentioned very precisely, he said, Woe to the land beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, understandably, from the viewpoint of the land of Cush. If a person then turns south, and says, Woe to the land beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. What do you find, understandably, then in line with Daniel? As a tradesperson, you find then Congo. Congo is an area extremely rich, the most of the entire world at the moment. They are extremely rich, and then at some point, the Soviets must come down and then organize Congo. Because many countries are coming to Congo and destroying and stealing. They are then obviously involved with the clandestine types of deals. And then a lot, a lot of people over there are going through very rough times. 
while then UN is involved, United Nations and other nations and other countries involved at some point and already has started because the armies and the rebels are fighting against those invaders such as other countries removing their riches plus the UN lots of UN soldiers already have died and many more will to die until the situation is so dire and then the Soviets they come down and put an end to it then we understand what it means and then the kingdom of the north shall subdue the kingdom of the south but it's not the kingdom of the south as if they were fighting against each other because it would not make sense BRICS is also included South Africa and since we understand Africa as the kingdom of the south they can't fight against the kingdom of the north so the understanding is from a standpoint of trade as far as, as the minerals involved with the Congo then those nations stealing from Africa from the Congo they have to get out of there real fast because then the violent ones are becoming violent as we speak so then as the same situation regarding the Miriam when then the angel mentioned today you are conceived he said regarding his son at the very second then he spoke then Miriam became pregnant the same way we understand these specific Hebrew words when the time comes and the violent ones then something in them then sparks this word and they become violent but because it was already prophesied because the area of Congo being woed must be then cleaned and making available for the dragon starting his system thus then we understand what it means but not only this layer of understanding is also then the retrieving of other nations and these includes obviously the United States so then the USD as we know today and famous for many decades must then retrieve and then China obviously using its own system where then nations of the world is going to start making conversions of their own virtual systems or purchasing of the units of the yuan virtual so that they can do the transactions via online so then in the next 30 months we should observe great changes of the monetary system and there are already talks regarding then the capability of United States of maintaining its USD and there is no repair for it absolutely no repair it must diminish until the entire nation retrieves from the world and doing precisely what Gerald Nye from North Dakota during the time of the bombardment of Pearl Harbor mentioned very precisely he wanted his country to come out of every fight around the world and then starting in quote a fight against those factories making arms obviously the United States should take care of their own security obviously but not worldwide anymore aircrafts ships and whatsoever military involvement around the world they must retrieve and give away for the Soviets to do their work doing this shows humbling themselves before the mighty hand of God so then they can understand the path if they don't do it then the Creator has other ways and it's never nice because it must be done in a certain way and we are already 40 years after schedule so then let's understand this very precisely because many nations they are in trouble because of the USD it must become then a virtual system where the power then shifts from a centralized place and then becomes decentralized giving power to those people doing the work on the computer because when the system becomes available every person can then log on and then start doing trade and investments and receiving and purchasing and sending money and paying their dues paying their taxes obviously for these transactions done via regular computer must have a signal ultra fast same as used in banks 
as we can understand New Zealand and Australia they have already this very ultra fast system where then they can do multiple transactions extremely fast because the whole Pacific is already linking up with China they understand direct to trade already without USD and then it started with Dubai having a Dragon Mart, the physical area of the Dragon, where then people near Dubai when they make purchases later with the virtual system, they receive their products obviously from Dragon Mart in Dubai, becoming a trading post of the area. So then as Cancun, so later as Australia, so then later in the South Pacific, becoming then the trading post of the South Pacific, after the completion of the Dragon Mart in Australia and then South Atlantic and North Atlantic and then in India and South Africa. Thus the positioning of these areas for distribution centers and then later becoming the system online. The system online the nation is not going to adapt the yuan, the Chinese yuan, as the means of exchange. No, they have to purchase those units of virtual in the system and do the synchronism and do the transaction via this system. As if you would understand the average gold price of the Chinese yuan making a virtual unit of its own country. So if it's Brazil, it's Rio, if it's another country, then it uses their money, their name as in unit of the average price of the Chinese gold. So then what they spend they simply do a synchronism or then an exchange so they can make purchases. And the only way of retrieving taxes from purchases overseas where then is decentralized and governments of the world won't know what a person is purchasing because it is confidential then they can make a deal with the freighters because they have an electronic system or tracking numbers where then whatsoever is in a box must be then itemized priced and then taxes then removed and instantly deducted and then going straight to the government so then they can have a record not only of taxes but then what is sent and what is received becoming then a point of security because then the police knows who is sending who is receiving this then is bringing us roughly then the time of the trade of the end including then the security the Soviet Union then the trades people China with the very system and the initiation of the dragons system and then south or kingdom tabernacling and then the most richest section of Africa then Congo so then we understand very precisely because of we have maximum of 20 years left we can't play around with the rest of the scripture there is a section of it that must be completed and these sections, these layers are very precise so then you find chapter 1-8 of Yerushiahu linked up with the 61st and then from the 61st until the 66th chapter of Yerushiahu replete with the end of times prophecies obviously those are related then the later chapters of Daniel and the later chapters of Ezekiel and the later chapters of Zechariah there is only a section of those that must be taken care of and those are also lined up with what Shaliak Shaul said and the Messiah so then we can prepare ourselves further and then wait for then the Messiah to come at some point and do what he must do and we Gentiles we won't be there when he comes but then most of us will be obviously resting when he does his work during the time of the vengeance not very far away from today so please stay tuned much more coming up